Have you ever wondered how waste plastic is turned to useful products? Well, you're in the right place. We're going to take you on a journey from waste to resource as we explore the fascinating process of plastic recycling. Our journey into the world of plastic recycling begins with the essential task of collecting plastic waste from various sources. Plastic waste is ubiquitous, found in households, hospitals, industries, and even discarded in dump sites. To kickstart the recycling process, waste management teams and facilities actively gather plastic waste from these diverse locations. Once the plastic waste is gathered, it undergoes a meticulous sorting process. This critical step is necessary to separate the different types of plastics based on their material composition and properties. Advanced sorting technologies, including optical sensors, magnetic separators, and manual sorting by trained workers, are employed to efficiently categorize the plastics. During the sorting process, plastics are classified into different categories, including but not limited to HDPE, PET, LDPE, and PVC. Each type of plastic has unique characteristics that determine its recycling potential and applications. Advanced sorting technologies such as near-infrared, NIR, spectroscopy, and automated sorting systems enable efficient identification and separation of plastics based on their resin types. These technologies enhance the accuracy and speed of the sorting process. Once the sorting process is complete, the sorted plastics are ready to undergo further processing, washing and shredding. After the meticulous sorting process, the plastic waste is transported to the washing stage. Here, it undergoes a thorough cleaning process to remove any contaminants such as dirt, labels and residual contents. Within the washing chamber, the plastic waste is subjected to a combination of mechanical agitation, water jets, and detergent solutions. This process effectively dislodges and eliminates surface contaminants, ensuring the plastic materials are clean and ready for further processing. Following washing, the cleaned plastic waste enters a drying process to remove excess moisture. Methods such as centrifugal drying or hot air drying are utilized to ensure the plastic materials are completely dry before proceeding. Once cleaned and dried, the plastic waste moves onto the shredding process. This step is essential for breaking down the plastic materials into smaller, uniform pieces, facilitating subsequent processing and recycling. Shredding machines equipped with rotating blades or hammers are utilized to mechanically shred the plastic waste into smaller flakes or granules. These machines are capable of processing various types of plastics, including PET, HDPE, LDPE, PVC, and more. Shredded plastic flakes are then collected and prepared for further processing. These smaller uniform pieces are more conducive to subsequent steps such as extrusion, molding or pelletization where they can be transformed into new products. After the washing and shredding stages, the shredded plastic flakes are ready for further processing. 
This next crucial step in the plastic recycling journey involves melting and pelletizing the shredded plastic material to create uniform pellets that can be used as raw material for manufacturing new products. Once melted, the plastic material is forced through a die to form uniform strands or pellets. This process is known as pelletizing. The molten plastic is extruded through small holes in the die, creating cylindrical pellets of uniform size and shape. These pellets are then cooled and solidified as they pass through a cooling chamber. After solidification, the plastic pellets are ready for storage or transportation to manufacturers who will use them as raw material for various plastic products. After the plastic waste has been washed, shredded, melted and pelletized, the resulting plastic pellets are ready for reprocessing and reuse. This final stage of the plastic recycling journey involves transforming the recycled plastic pellets into new products through various manufacturing processes. The reprocessing of recycled plastic pellets can take several forms, depending on the desired end product and the properties of the recycled material. One common method is injection molding, where the melted plastic pellets are injected into a mold cavity under high pressure to create plastic products such as containers, automotive parts and household items. Another reprocessing method is extrusion, where the melted plastic pellets are forced through a die to create continuous shapes such as pipes, tubes and profiles. This process is commonly used in the manufacturing of construction materials, packaging films and other plastic products. Additionally, recycled plastic pellets can be used as raw material in blow molding processes to create hollow plastic products such as bottles, containers and packaging.
The reprocessing of recycled plastic pellets offers numerous benefits, including reducing the consumption of virgin plastic materials, conserving natural resources, and minimizing environmental pollution. By utilizing recycled plastic pellets in manufacturing processes, businesses can contribute to a more sustainable and circular economy while meeting consumer demand for environmentally friendly products. In conclusion, plastic recycling is a complex and multifaceted process that involves several stages, from collection and sorting to washing, shredding, melting, pelletizing, and reprocessing. Each stage plays a crucial role in transforming plastic waste into valuable resources and contributing to a more sustainable future. By understanding and supporting the plastic recycling process, we can all play a part in reducing plastic pollution and preserving our environment for future generations. Thank you for joining us on this informative journey through the world of plastic recycling. Did you know that plastic recycling plays a vital role in reducing plastic pollution and preserving our environment? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know how you're contributing to plastic recycling efforts in your community.